Today I'm going to show you how to install the Ubuntu server 2004 as a virtual machine onto VMware ESXi 7 operating system. And first thing first, we're going to go onto Ubuntu official website to download this ISO for the Ubuntu server. So once you get that file downloaded, we're going to head to VMware ESXi to upload that ISO file into our data store. So select the data store that you want to store that ISO file to and then select the file to open to upload that ISO file into VMware ESXi. As a bonus, I'm going to show you how to create another port group for your virtual switch. So as you can see, I have two physical NIC uh, and a virtual switch with a VM network in one port. I'm creating another port for this uh, machine. I'll add a name and tutorial network, a different port group. So you can have a different LAN ID here as well, but I'll leave it as a default. And now we have everything ready. We can go and create our virtual machine. So hit next to create, uh, give it a name, any name and select Linux as guest operating system family and then Ubuntu as guest operating system version. So hit next. Once that done, we're going to select the data store to, to install to. Give it four virtual core and with four gigabyte of memory and hard disk anywhere between 20 and 25 gigabyte would be more than enough. So since this is a SSD, so I'm going to select thick provisions. I'll select the port group that we just created earlier and select our ISO file for uh, Ubuntu server. And once that's done, click next and then finish to create a virtual machine. So once that's done, we can open it up and hit start to power our machine up. In this process, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing complicated about this one. So here, remember the IP address that we're going to use it to remotely access our headless Ubuntu server. On this profile setup page, we're going to give it a name for your name and username. We can select any package here to install, but I don't want to because I can always install these packages later on in my command line. Hit enter to restart the machine at that point. So now the machine is restarting. We should be able to access to it through our uh, SSH. So I'm going to select our, uh, my party program to access this uh, headless Ubuntu uh, server. Uh, put an IP address here or the host name that we created earlier. So I think I remember it's 109. Accept the security alert. So now we log in as with the username that we created earlier as a profile setup page with the password that you created for your own. So as with any other new installation of Ubuntu server, I'm going to issue a command to update that machine. So give it a command sudo apt update and your password, of course. And once that's done, we can issue another command to upgrade it. So sudo apt upgrade, confirm yes to continue. And then after one minute or so, it will be finished. And now you have a brand new Ubuntu server virtual machine that you can work on. And once that upgrade done, I'm going to issue a command sudo apt auto remove to remove unused packages uh, from the machine. But it doesn't look like it has any unused packages. So that's fine. So now we are finished the installation of Ubuntu server virtual machine on VMware ESXi 7. Now I'm going to issue a command to shut it down. sudo shut down dash h now so now it's shut down another bonus uh tip is that you can enable auto restart for for this uh, machine if you want to auto restart enable thank you guys for watching if you find it helpful please uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for another videos like this bye